I'm putting on this headband. Isn't it so cute? I think it's so cute. <laughs> And in today's video, I'm just gonna be giving you guys another get ready with me. This one is gonna be for brunch and it's a full get ready with me. So I'm gonna be doing my hair, makeup, outfit, and all of the above. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, comment on this video, and of course, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'm really happy with how this look came out and I'm really excited for y'all to see it. So if you wanna see me get ready for brunch, then keep watching. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna be honest. I don't know what's about to come out this bonnet. I'm not even gonna lie, like, usually when I hairspray my hair down instead of, like, glue it down, I take it off the same night. I don't usually sleep with it. Just take it off and then wash it and reinstall it, but I did not feel like doing all that. So I just wrapped it and went to sleep and we gonna get whatever come out this bonnet. I'm gonna go ahead and take it off. I mean, the hair looks fine, but it, I wasn't really worried about the hair. I was worried about the lace. Moment of truth. <laughs> so, it looks kind of bad, but not as bad as I thought it was gonna look. It's definitely salvageable. So I just wanna like fix this lace before I get into like doing my makeup, cause yeah, like I'm definitely gonna have to redo this, this baby hair situation, cause like that's just a no. <laughs> I'm just gonna comb through my hair and do the baby hairs. Wrap it back up and then we're gonna get started on makeup. Okay, so I combed through it all. Um, I mean, the hair is fine. It's just, I need to just redo this lace cause yeah. Um, I'm just taking my like baby hair brush and combing through it just so that it's not so stiff. And I'm just gonna take some got to be gel and I'm just gonna redo the baby hairs. Okay, so I did some of my baby hairs. I haven't done this side yet, but I'm noticing like the lace is kind of like coming up a little bit right here. So I'm gonna just spray it down real quick before I do the baby hairs and then blow drying on the cool setting. Okay y'all, so I finished my baby hairs and fixing my lace. So now I'm just gonna tie it back down while I do my makeup. So we're ready to move on to my face. I'm gonna do my eyebrows first and then I'm gonna come back because we saving time today, so. <laughs> All right y'all, so I did my eyebrows off camera. We're gonna move on to eyeshadow now. I'm gonna prime my eyes first. I'm just gonna use my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Toffee. Just covering my eyelids so that I have a nice base before I do my eyeshadow. Okay y'all, so I primed my eyes. One of my eyes is already done because I just did a whole eye look and didn't like it, so I wiped it all off and started over. So I just had to do one eye to make sure this is gonna come out the way that I wanted to. But yeah, so I have one eye done and I'm gonna show you guys what I'm doing for my next eye. I'm using the Masquerade Palette by Juvia's Place and I'm starting by going into this dark brown shade right here and I'm just putting that into my crease. circular and windshield motions, kind of at the same time. Moving on, I'm going into this shade right here, and I'm basically using that to kind of create like a halo eye effect, so I'm only putting it in the middle of my eye. And now I'm just taking that same brown again and kind of like blending it in with the shimmer color. And that's basically it. So I'm gonna move on to foundation now. I'm using the Bobbi Brown foundation. This one is the Skin Longwear Weightless Foundation SPF 15. This foundation is like running out. So yes, I am about to be ghetto and put it on like this. And now I'm just blending it with my Real Techniques sponge. This is like my go-to sponge every time I put on foundation. I'm just kind of feeling like this foundation doesn't match me anymore. I feel like I'm warmer than the foundation. Maybe it's just too cool tone for me, but yeah, I don't know. All right, now I'm just gonna conceal with my Uoma concealer. Y'all know this is like my favorite concealer. <laughs> And a little goes a long way. I always put like way too much, but it's okay because I still need to put some on my forehead and my chin and stuff. So we going Okay, my camera definitely just died in the middle of my sentence. And I just feel like that was so rude. But I changed the battery and we back. Y'all know I'm pressed because I'm changing batteries now instead of changing cameras, period. <laughs> I always gotta have my ice water next to me when I'm doing my makeup. Do y'all be getting hot when you do your makeup? 
I began hot. So yeah, we're blending in our concealer and we're gonna spread it out. It was kind of on there for a while, like the whole time it took me to change the battery. So I hope that, yeah, okay. I was about to say, I hope this concealer is not about to be annoying. Cause usually you gotta blend it like right away. Not right away, but like, you know, you don't wanna let it sit for too long. Okay, we looking good. Now I'm just using the leftover to like kind of put some on my forehead a little bit and chin. Okay, so now I'm gonna set this with my Makeup Revolution setting powder in Banana Deep. I feel like it'd be so hard to use this powder low key because the lid is so little. Like look how little the lid is. So I'm like having to dip this big old sponge in this little, anyways. All right, now I'm just brushing it off. I don't really be leaving my setting powder on for that long. Okay, so I'm gonna contour now and I'm using this Beauty Bakery Brownie Bar. So I got this big ass lash book. Well, they call it a lash book, but it's more like a lash tray because they don't have no pages. But yeah, so this is from a place called Bomb Extension. Basically, yeah, they just have really cute lashes. They low-key look kind of crazy in the tray, but I promise y'all they look better on. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and put on these lashes. Oh wait, no, not these. I'm gonna go ahead and put on these lashes right here. They're called Maryland. And of course, I'll link them below for you guys. Okay, so I just cut them to fit my eye and they're fitting. If you guys want a detailed video on how I like do my lashes from cutting to like how to glue it on, all that. I have a video, so I'll link it above for you guys so you can watch that because it is kind of like a little process. Once you get used to it, it's pretty quick, but yeah. So let me put these on and then I'll be right back. So my lashes are done. We're gonna go on to lips. I still haven't gotten a good brown liner, so here I am yet again using my eyebrow pencil to do my lips. So I'm just gonna line them. And I'm using my NYX matte lipstick in the shade Dainty Days, cause y'all know I love a nude lip. I need to stop being so predictable. And of course, I'm not done. I'm gonna put some lip gloss over it. And last but not least, of course, my beauty marks. I have one right here already. And then I just add more to wherever I feel. Like I want one. And that's just that on that. So my makeup is done. I feel like it came out real cute, very like brunch vibes. <laughs> so I'm gonna take my hair down and we're just gonna hope that. <laughs> okay, so it's not too bad. It could be better, but it's not too bad. I'm not really gonna do much to it. I'm kind of just gonna let it be wavy from like the curls that I had put in it yesterday. And then I'm putting on this headband. Isn't it so cute? I think it's so cute. Look at me being trendy. Okay, this is what it's looking like. I kind of feel like I want to push it back. I'm definitely liking how it came out. It's so cute, I feel like a princess. <laughs> but yeah, let me go get dressed and everything and then I'll show you guys the outfit and everything all together as one. <laughs> okay, you guys, so this is my little brunch outfit. I paired this bodysuit. I don't really know what to call this color. I like want to call it a burnt orange, but I just feel like burnt orange is dark in this. So maybe like, I don't know, I don't know what this, this color is, but I thought it would be cute. It went with the headband like perfectly. I don't know if you guys can really see the detail of the headband, but it's like gold, so this definitely fit together. And then I paired it with these light wash frayed jeans. I added this belt, it's like a little heart buckle, and it's clear all the way around. I paired these white shoes with the outfit because I definitely felt like it would balance everything out. And it did, so I'm happy with how it came out. And then of course my main accessory is this headband, which I actually got off of Amazon. So I'm gonna link it down below for anyone who wants to purchase it. I got this gold one and then I got one that was more silver. So I'll just put the link in the description for you guys if you guys wanna get it. I think it was only like 15 bucks, so it's definitely a steal. And yeah, so that is basically the end of this video. I hope you guys loved it. I hope you guys like the makeup, the outfit, the hair, the headband. Y'all know I'm impressed about this headband. I think it's so freaking cute. But <laughs> I hope you guys love the look as much as I did. Please remember to like this video. Video, comment on this video and of course subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you guys in the next one bye